All right, well, I'm going to be showing you today how to spool a bait caster the quickest way. All right, first up is you want to make sure you are clear of all line on your reel. So that means all this has got to go. Free spool, not no line or anything on it. So you want to get your line right here. Right here, this is 12 pound mono. First, you want to find the end of your line, just like that. And if you see on the bait caster, there's a hole right there, right there that moves back and forth. That is the uh, guide. It like kind of guides the line back and forth on the spool. So what you're gonna do? So you're going to get your line, stick it right in that hole, and pull it out. So you know, now you have it, now you have your line, and the eye, right there on the reel, and in your hand. Now also, if you look, if your reel, most reels have little holes on it right here. And those are very, very helpful. What I like to do, so you don't have to like tie a hole not around the spool, just get the end of your line. Stick it in the hole, make sure it's kind of tight, kind of make the line a little bit tighter, kind of move your spool around, reel it in a little bit, reel, reel, there you go. Now your line's a little bit tight, now you want to get your line, lay it down on the table, have your hand up here a little bit on the rod, and hold your hand, or hold the line with your pointer finger and thumb and do it a slow reel until you have a full spool. All right, now that you have a good bit amount of line on your spool, good enough to do some casting. Something won't spool you off. Then, I'm gonna find a point, line, a good bit of ways from the reel away from the reel and cut it. Now what you want to do is feed it through the eyes. Right there. You just want to feed it through there. Alright, the bait of choice for me to put on this rod that I just spooled up, the cheapest and easiest way, probably the quickest way too, it's probably going to be a swim jig. Because the grassy parts of my lake right now have a lot of grass in the water. And I don't want to get a little bottom bait like a jig or a Texas rig and pull it across the bottom. Get all that grass stuck up in there. It's probably the best thing we'll be doing right now is be throwing a swim jig out with a little swim bait trailer on the end. Here. Maybe a little white swim bait like this. Long tail, bigger paddle. And a KVD, maybe like a sexy shad, sexy shad. Just a swim jig like this. See, the swim jig's got a little rounder front then, more versatile, better. Swims through the water a lot better. Now, all you have to do, cut the head off. Don't want that big, bulky bait swimming through the water. There you go. Now you get your swim jig. Now all you gotta do is tie it on. <laughs> 